The event, hosted by the Isaho Foundation, aimed to create a space where women entrepreneurs could come together to share strategies for business growth and survival in a competitive landscape. The session provided a platform for participants to exchange ideas and discuss solutions to the common obstacles they face in their business world. A platform like this, that's what we create to bring information to people for the things that are maybe accessible and, uh, and uh, available actually to us as women, to us as, as youth and to us as uh, women in general. So some, some people, they don't even know that the government has pro such pro programs. And yes, we applaud that the government has the programs in place because that shows that the government is thinking about us, that the government wants women to develop. But I can say that there's still more that can be done. Established businesses threw their weight behind the idea. We aim to make a difference in terms of people's lives and people's legacies and people's future as well as um, ensuring that their, their wealth is, is created and as well as protected. Women are the ones who are like um, making decisions. They are the buyers. If they decide that uh, we're not eating tonight, we're not going to eat. So I think uh, having to support them uh, your message is truly going to go out there and then reach to as many people as possible. Some women who own businesses say platforms like this are crucial. A lot of us women, we are put down a lot and I, it's, 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 been happen, it's happened to me before where I've been put down because of what I do, because of how I look. So coming here and being around women who just encourage me and look at my art and call it beautiful, it's also just me feeling confident, also just giving glory to God. I'm here to network on behalf of the community that I lead. I'm here to learn and see what other businesses are doing. I'm here to connect with the over 1,000 women that are here for the event. Others say it's time to remove barriers. Sometimes we get that we don't support each other. That's the challenge that we have. But other than that, the business is going well. Women can break barriers. It's no longer a dominant place for a man to, 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 to take over in the spheres of wealth, in the spheres of business. In the olden days, uh, I never knew of a woman who were writing books. Uh, for us, now we are breaking barriers as the women. We are coming. Uh, where I believe where God wants us to be. And there's a call for women to continue building networks and fostering collaboration. Solfelo Mohami, SBC News, Rustenberg.